Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm talking about this. It is the Dove Pure Care Dry Oil for hair, it says. <laughs> just in case you didn't know it was for your hair. Um, it says it's a nourishing treatment with African macadamia oil for all hair types. Um, the first interesting thing about this, I think, is that there's two types. There's this one which says it's for all hair types, and then there's another one that says it's for mature hair. And I sort of read the back of both of them, and I read the ingredients, and I can barely see any difference, other than perhaps this one has got, says it's got a different scent, but I smelt them both, and they both smell the same to me, which is gorgeous, by the way. Um, but I can't, I couldn't see on the one for mature hair, the directions were no different. It didn't say what the difference was, you know, and it didn't even specify what is mature hair, because I thought, well, have I got mature hair? You know, I'm 41 years old. Does that mean my hair's mature? I don't know. Or is that talking about 50 plus or 60 plus or 70 plus? I don't know. Um, so I went for the one for all hair types. Um, and kind of that just left that confusion in boots and <laughs> just thought I'm just going to get this one but they both smell amazing the other one I think had some kind of seed oil in it this one has got the macadamia oil the other one had some kind of seed oil so I don't know whether there would be any difference or not so this one cost £9.99 which seems to be the price of them all at the moment and actually I think I mentioned this one the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil in my c and double video and I think I said it was £12.99 so apologies for that because it's now gone down to £9.99 it used to be £12.99 um, and it may be because this and also the Tresemme um, are £9.99 for the same amount you know there's 100 mil in each of these so um, I'm guessing that's why they've put their price down however this one is it's pretty much the same thing as the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. So if you have tried that Extraordinary Oil and you have found that you like that, I'm pretty sure you would like this too. And there's, I can't see any difference. I wouldn't know any difference other than the smell. I prefer the smell of this one. And I don't know whether that's just because it's new. You know, when something's new, you kind of are a bit obsessed with it, or I am anyway. Um, and I, I can't even tell you what the difference in smell is. Oh yes I can, this one is like baby oil, um, this one, this one is a bit more perfumed um, and I'm not actually doing a compare here but um, this one is a bit more like baby oil so that's I think why I like the smell of this because I do like baby products and it just smells very very clean and lovely and actually I did smell the Tresemme one that to me didn't smell very nice, it just smelled like the normal kind of shampoo smell so that's why I went for this one and I love it. I used it yesterday and I really do love it. It is not as good to me as using a conditioner and leaving a conditioner on your hair for a couple of hours, which is what I've been doing over the last few weeks. But it's a really nice way of treating your hair and it doesn't leave the oily residue. In fact, the Ojon Rare Blend conditioner that I've got makes my hair greasier than this, um, which I'm surprised at. So the way that I used it yesterday, I thought I'm going to use it kind of in all the ways that they suggest. So I used it as a pre-shampoo treatment. So I used eight pumps, I counted them. I used four pumps first and then just sort of put it onto the ends of my hair here, make sure I saturated the ends where I kind of am prone to split ends. And then I used another four pumps and just sort of put it on the sides here where I use my um, straighteners. I was wanting to be careful not to use it in the crown of my head because I think that's where it can start feeling a bit oily. Um, so I sort of used it, I guess, from here downwards, you know, and made sure that I didn't put any into the crown of my hair because that's not damaged anyway. So um, so I did that and then I left it on for about an hour maybe. And then I just washed my hair as usual. Now the hair, the conditioner that I used was my Tresemme Deep Cleansing Shampoo. Um, and I specifically use that when I've done a pre um, shampoo. because That may sound a bit kind of counterproductive, because it's supposed to strip all the product out of your hair but I just find that it doesn't strip the oil out it does just make sure that it doesn't have that greasy feeling and when I've used oil particularly and you can feel when it's rinsing out that it didn't have its usual really squeaky feeling which meant that it had still coated the hair so I did that put my conditioner in which was my L'Oreal Protect and Perfect Protect and Perfect yeah the peach one the L'Oreal El Vive one um, and then I put some more of this in another just I think about three or four pumps and put that again into the ends of my hair um, and then a little bit in the middle just maybe two pumps so it was just a slight bit on my hands into the sort of the middle of my hair to try and detangle it um, and then I blow dried it well I left it in my microfiber towel as I do for probably half an hour to an hour and then blow dried it um, 
And then finally what I did was put another pump, which I'll do just now, just like that, one little pump, rubbed it in my hands and put it kind of smoothed over the hair and in the ends. So just kind of like that, just to kind of, um, so you know you get those little wispy bits that kind of takes that away. And oh, the smell is just amazing. It's, it's just like a perfumed baby oil, I love it. it. My hair feels in really good condition, but the one thing I would say that it doesn't do is it doesn't detangle. I think I, it wouldn't be able to detangle because you'd need to put a lot in the middle of, of your hair and I just feel like it might then be greasy. Um, so I wouldn't use this as a detangler. So if I'm gonna use this, I need to use this like as a treatment, I need to use that and then use like maybe the L'Oreal LV Aqua Serum or something kind of in the middle of my hair and maybe even at the ends to detangle. But now it's dry, it does feel like you can see I can run my fingers through through it without coming across any kind of tangles, which is good. So it does feel in really good condition now it's dry, but it just, yeah, it didn't detangle as much as I had hoped. But this, I would say, is as good as the L'Oreal Elvive one. I would say that it's as good as the Tresemme one, but I don't know that because I haven't bought it, but I'm pretty sure they're, they're all much of a muchness. Um, I have got a couple of other oils. I've got um, a Lux oil, which I don't think this is, I think this is better than this one. Um, and I might actually try and do one of my compare and review videos where I talk about all the oils and which ones are better for which kind of hair etc but I've got a funny feeling that that would be difficult to do I'll see how I feel after using this a bit more and maybe try and use them over the next week or so and see what I think but I've got a feeling they're all kind of the same thing and there's a lot of them out there just now but this one like I said 9.99 for 100 mil smells absolutely gorgeous feels lovely it's a real luxurious treat I think I'm not going to use it as a pre-shampoo treatment I'm going to use it as I do with my um, extraordinary oil I'm just gonna use a little pump like I did there and put it on the ends of my hair when they're feeling a little bit dry because it doesn't, you can see it doesn't make it look greasy at all and I just feel like that's giving it a little moisture boost when it feels dry. So I'm gonna do that kind of in between washes. So um, I think that's everything I've got to tell you about it. Um, so you can use it, like I said, as a pre-shampoo. You can put it into your hair when it's wet and then blow dry it or you can use it on dry hair as long as you don't use too much. It actually says on the packaging that you can use it before on dry hair before styling. So I'm not sure if that means that you can use it kind of on your hair before using the straighteners or anything, but I feel like the amount of product you'd have to use to get any benefit would be too much and it would be oily. Um, so I haven't really tried that. You'd have to be very, very sparing, I think. Um, yeah, that's everything I've got to tell you. So I hope that was informative for you. Um, let me know if you guys would like um, that compare and review video. Like I said, it may be a very quick one, just saying that they're all the same, but um, let me know. And if you do, I shall do some more investigations and see what I can come up with. So thanks very much for watching today and I'll speak to you all soon.